Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we are looking at creating something like the following uh, in which a user can be typing a comment, for example, and add some text or, or some kind of element to this or element of text to this text box while they're typing. Now, I've chosen to use emoticons uh, or emoticons, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, but essentially what I've done is I've created three emoticons, um, which could be images. In this case, I haven't used any other images. Uh, I've just used uh, buttons, but you could go ahead and use images for that, and I'll explain a bit about that later. Um, but essentially what we're doing is we're allowing the user to type a comment, um, for example, great stuff, and then that we're allowing them to add an emoticon and then begin typing again. So I really enjoyed it. So essentially what it is, it's it's a way for a user to quickly um, you know, load an emoticon into a into a text area. And this is found on things like forums, um, you know, and a, any other sort of commenting system where emoticons are available. Uh, now we're not going to be looking at displaying them as images inside the text area because obviously we can't do that. Uh, it is possible, but we're focusing on the main functionality behind it in, in sort of in order to uh, sort of increase our skill in this area. Now it looks quite simple, but there's a few things that I have included to make this uh, absolutely flawless in the sense that first of all, um, we focus back to the text area as we type. So if a user was to type something here and then click this emoticon, they're focused back and their correct is just back here. Uh, otherwise, if we didn't include this functionality, they would have to click back into the text area to start typing. The other thing that you notice is as I've typed, you can see a space appear here and also a space appear here for the user to continue typing something afterwards. Um, however, when we have nothing in our text area and we click a smiley, you see that the spaces aren't appended to the front and or the prepended to the front and appended to the uh, to the end of this. So as long as we have some text in the text area, so something, we don't need to include a space after this last G. Uh, but when we click on a smiley, it automatically creates a space for us as long as we've typed something. So we can go ahead and uh, start writing out the code for this now. Uh, as I said, it's extremely, uh, it's ex extremely basic uh, with regards to the overall concept, but it can be applied to a number of different areas. Uh, and also this functionality such as not adding spaces is also, uh, I guess, quite useful. Um, and we're gonna be looking at one of the jQuery utilities, which is the trim, which trims white space from either side. So we'll take a look at this um, uh, the in in our text editor and we'll start to write out the code okay so back over to our text editor we're going to start to write out the uh, text the input field itself and then also create each element of the emoticon buttons and it's important to note that the way we're doing this it makes it easy to add uh, additional uh, emoticons uh, to allow the user or whoever's modifying the script or anything like that to just add more content uh, that will be placed inside and we'll look at a demo at doing that at the end of the tutorial when we've completed it so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and say something like type a comment uh, we'll wrap this inside paragraph tags and we'll after this we will break down and we'll use an input uh, nope we're not going to do an input type we're going to use a text area text area here Okay, so I'm going to give this an ID, and this is just going to be comment. So now on our uh, page, we just have a text area. Now we need to go ahead and style this uh, so it's a bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and open style.css, which is included on my page. Uh, and I'm just going to reference that comment uh, text area that we've just created. And we can go and give this a height. And we'll say the height 90 pixels. And we'll give this a width. And we'll give it something like 360 pixels. So that's just enlarged the text area, just so we can type enough content in there and it looks nicer. Uh, we'll then go ahead uh, and close this because we're not gonna need style.css anymore. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and create a, another paragraph down here with the emoticons. So let's say, choose emoticon. And we'll go, or add emoticon, probably sounds better. And we'll go ahead and just bring this down so it's a bit easier for us to deal with and a bit easier for us to see. Uh, okay, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three buttons with three different emoticons in them and they're all going to be assigned the same class and for that reason it makes it a lot easier to then go ahead and add more buttons but give it the same class and we're going to use jQuery to pick up the value of the uh, the, te uh, the uh, buttons so for example uh, what's displayed on the button is exactly what's going to be placed inside of the text area so I'm going to go ahead and create three buttons or we can create one duplicated down but it doesn't really matter so I'm going to create a button here and give it a value of just a smiley face textual representation of a smiley face uh, and I'm going to assign a class to this and this class is going to be emoticon emoticon yeah okay so I said at the start of the tutorial that you can use images as well with this which would probably be better in the case of emoticons now in this case what you would go ahead and do is you would just uh, let's just do it above here uh, is you would create an image as you usually would with a particular source so it might be uh, emote forward slash smile dot png but what you'd do is you'd go ahead and you'd sign, assign an ID, uh, sorry, a class to this as well. So you could assign the class um, uh, Emoticon because that's what we are keeping as the global class for this. But you'd also then have to go and give this a value so we could give it a value as well. So jQuery is going to pick up the, uh, the value inside of here uh, based on this value attribute. So that's what you would do if you were to go ahead and use images, uh, but for now we're just using these buttons. 